To compromise the victim systems, we prepare some malicious software and force the victim to run the malware into their systems so we can open a back door or steal some data or gain a session, etc. Before talking about the customer payload creation, we need to see a few terms to make the subject clearer. Most likely you already know the terms we'll talk about in this slide. If so, just jump to the next one. Malware. It's a short form of the term malicious software. It's a kind of software that's used to compromise the computer systems. It's an umbrella term used to refer to a variety of forms of hostile or intrusive software, including computer viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, spyware, adware, scareware, and other malicious programs. It can take the form of executable code, scripts, active content, and other software. Payload, inside malware, is the portion of the malware which performs malicious action. Metasploit framework is one of the most known terms in the cybersecurity domain. As the open source subproject of the Metasploit project, Metasploit Framework is a tool for developing and executing exploit code against the target machine. Even though they're depreciated and removed from Metasploit Framework, I'd like to talk about MSF Payload and MSF Encode first. They're depreciated because their abilities are collected into a single tool, MSF Venom. To understand what MSF Venom does, it's better to talk about MSF Payload and MSF Encode first. MSF Payload was a command line tool that's used to generate and output all the various types of shell code that are available in Metasploit. Using MFS Payload, you can create an executable file as well as creating a payload to embed the file. The parameters displayed in the slide give us some more about what the MSF payload does. Most of the time, one cannot simply use shellcode generated straight out of MSF payload. It needs to be encoded to suit the target in order to function properly. This can mean transforming your shellcode into pure alphanumeric, getting rid of bad characters, or encoding it for 64-bit target. It can also be instructed to encode shellcode multiple times. Output the shellcode in numerous formats, C, Perl, Ruby, and one can even merge it to an existing executable file. So most of the time, this tool was used in conjunction with MSF Payload. MSF Venom is the Metasploit's standalone payload generator. It's the combination of MSF Payload and MSF Encode putting both of these tools into a single framework instance. That means MSF Venom is a combination of payload generation and encoding. You can do everything that you can do with MSF Payload and MSF Encode. You can generate a payload, encode the payload, avoid the bad characters, use a custom template, and more.